Hey guys, alright, um, I got forced to work like four days in a row, my entire week was shot, so I ended up doing four 16 hour shifts, and then on my days off, uh, me and the wife ended up painting the kitchen, so I did do some sort of painting, but <laughs> not exactly what I, well, yes, in case she sees this, yes, it's exactly what I wanted to do, um, so let me show you what I've done is um they came out with the um the new um lifeguards the union brigade and the household brigade so uh i ended up changing heads and swapping bodies and all kinds of stuff so uh basically what i've done here was if you remember this was all going to be the um, household, the lifeguards, the blues, and the first dragoons. Basically, what I've done now is I've swapped off heads, all kinds of neat stuff, and this unit's going to be the 16th Queen's Light Dragoons here. This unit here is going to be the 23rd Light Hus Hussars, uh, the 23rd Light Dragoons Hussars. This unit here is going to be the 10th Light Dragoons, also Hussars. These gentlemen here are going to be the first Dutch Carabineers. And these gentlemen here, I believe, are going to be my King's German Legion, Hussars. Uh, it's going to be the first. Now, I don't know whether I want to use the... Um, police on these or them I gotta figure out I'm not sure if they wore their their jackets into battle but I know the Germans did so this is a British unit that's the Germans unit and I'm, they definitely wore their police into combat but I'm not sure about the um, these guys the 10th light dragoons they might have just went like that now What's going to end up happening with this group is um, I am going to be... Oh, yeah, I, I did paint this cannon for the French when I get my god from Perry's. So now what happens is this unit here is going to be the Scott Greys. And there probably is going to be two squadrons. So each one of these is a squadron. And they're going to represent the regiment. Um... So the Scott Gray is going to be right there. And then I'm going to have, so that will be the Union Brigade. I know that these units are all mixed up, and it's from the 3rd, 4th, and 6th Regiment uh, Brigade. So they're, they're all kind of mixed up. Uh, but they'll be together. So, And then I'm going to put together the, um, the household with the lifeguards and the first dragoons and all that neat stuff. So that's how I'm going to rectify that. I uh, haven't been able to do anything over here. Just some minor stuff. Um, painting a couple of cannons. Just getting the basics for these people. And then um, basically um, getting out of work so drained. I just go by the hobby store. And I picked up, I picked up this book here. Napoleon Swiss troops from Osprey, which is pretty cool. Um, I know it has nothing to do with Waterloo, but um, I do I do like the um, the Swiss troops and that neat stuff. So, and I love Osprey books. So I picked this one up. I picked up Wellington's uh, Peninsula Regiments, the f f Volume 1 and Volume 2. So I grabbed those. And I do I do have a few um, Peninsula boxes. This is volume two. Now, here in the States, these things um, 
costs about eighteen dollars, so it's about seventeen ninety five for for one of these books. Um, seventeen ninety five there. Uh, I also picked up these for six dollars each. Uh, Panzer divisions in battle from nineteen thirty nine and nineteen forty five, which has some pretty good um, combat photos. If you're interested in World War II armor, you want to do bolt action. Um, they have uh, your paint schemes for your vehicles. So it's a pretty good reference tool. Um, all the way around for painting, for setting up dioramas, and just for history buffs. So you get a lot of neat stuff in these books. That's volume one. Volume two is basically the same. I got this one for six dollars. Originally, these things were, um, well, how much were these things? Eighteen forty-nine. So they were fifty percent off. So that wasn't that wasn't a bad deal. So I grabbed two of these. I grabbed volume one and volume two. Panthers. Hummels and Westbies. Panzer Comp Wagon Fours. Combat photos. So yeah, this is a pretty sharp book. Um, nice combat photos. Panzer Jagger too. <laughs> okay. Early Panzer Jaggers. Then you have the Tigers. Panzer Comp Wagon. Oh, 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 oh. Right, don't go anywhere. Here we go. Here we go. So, for six dollars, yeah, that's not bad. Now, um, I definitely, when you guys check out and make comments on my site, I like the. Uh, visit your sites and see what you've been doing and grab ideas from you and oh, That's a pretty cool photo right there. Look at that. That's pretty neat and um, So I came home from work and I had a package from Amazon and uh, I was cruising the um, web and looking at your your uh, YouTube sites and um, Greg King, a shout out to Greg, as the fact that um, he put this book up there. And this is Waterloo by Commandant Henry, Le, looks like Lechoc, Lechoc, with an introduction by David G. Chandler. And um, he briefly went through it. And um, it's really an awesome book. Um, so. I picked this up for ten bucks, which is pretty good, pretty good buy. I uh, got it out of Amazon. There were quite a few of them. Um, this seemed to be the the best shape one. So I was like, there was one for seven dollars. There was one for eight dollars. I grabbed the one for like ten ninety five. Um, plus a couple of dollars in shipping, and. Um, It's, I'm, I'm glad he, he uh, made a comment about this book because it is, it is really neat. And he was right. It's got photographs, photographs. It's got uh, paintings, drawings. It's, it is a great, great resource. Um, so shout out to Greg King. Thank you. Um, what a great book. 
And he posted this in his 2014 YouTube video uh, when he got his stuff for Christmas. His, his wife got him some, some uh, Napoleon X for Christmas, which is pretty cool. Um, I can just get my wife to do that for me. Um, but yeah, this, this is a fantastic book. And it's... The Royal Horse Artillery, huh? You got British Light Dragoons there. The Forces of the United. The Forces of the United Netherlands. How about that, huh? So, this is a, this is a fantastic resource. It really is. I can't say enough about it. Thank you, Greg. This, this, was, this was an awesome steal. These Nether Car the Carabineers. These uh, Nassau's uh, horse artillery. These are Dutch, Belgium. Same thing here, 4th and 5th Light Dragoons. I believe they're Dutch. And the Brunswickers, look. All right, pretty cool. Then you have the Prussians. And I went crazy. I found like six Napoleonic Wars Waterloo books on Amazon for anywhere from, from $5 to $15. And I went absolutely crazy. I took a couple of guys out shooting to uh, get their uh, retired police officers certificates so they can carry. Uh, and with that extra money... I went out and I just bought myself some some toys and some books. Not to mention that I spent a lot. Look at these. These are photo. Wow. These are awesome. I only got as far as the place, but these are cool. This is the officer of the Carabineers, the lieutenant general. This is the officer of the 5th Hussars. Officer of the Chasseur Zapid of the Young God, Cariasse uh, of the 4th Regiment, uh, Voltaire of the Infantry of the Line. These are, see, I mean, this, and look, at now we are into the French. Nice. Well, what I was saying was I spent quite a bit of money to um, buy the paint and the material for the wife's kitchen, so in the process, I kind of helped myself to my own money and purchased myself some toys off of eBay and um, this book and a few other books. Very nice. You know, Shasta Chevaux, uh, Lancers of the God as well, the Polish Lancers. Um, these these got to be the Chasseurs, right? Right there. Oh, great. Look at this. The Army of the North organization. Let's get them all broken down for you. How many men? Wow. This, this is cool. This is cool. The Allied Plan of Campaign. Napoleon's plan of campaign. Um, he's on the march. The French offensive. 14th, 15th, and 16th of June.
Shalom. The Prussians retreat. The Battle of Gilly, huh? I, I, I don't know about what that one is. Huh. Okay. Inactivity of the British Army. The Je Duchess of Richmond's Ball. The Battle of Lune. Very nice. Battle of the Bridge of Lenny, near the farm of Embas. <laughs> There's some really good stuff in here. The Battle of Quatre Bras. Man. What a great book. We're only halfway through it. Imagine that. A lot, a lot of these pictures I see in other books too. A lot of these lithographs and paintings. Look at that. The farmhouse at Cote Brass. Hey, good. Look at this. What a what a drawing. Wow. Fantastic. <laughs>